even though I'm in a new lot, eventually, um, whether well, I think the energy and the battery ran out, and there must be there must be a problem with my alternator because couldn't start it again, um, and then also I charged my jumper pack to full amount to the point where my battery, my uh, power station wasn't even charging it anymore because it was it was fully charged. So I tried to jump it with my fully charged jumper pack and that couldn't jump it either. Um, so my plan is to get enough money and um, I'm gonna use the, I won't have to wait till I save up money from a job uh, cause I have the mystery shopper money that I'm gonna make. And that should be enough for me to get one of those jumpers that should be enough for me to get one of those jumper packs that the tow company used. Um, I forget what the name of it is. It's a, uh, it's a NOCO Boost Pro. Um, my jumper pack was like a hundred dollars, the one that I have, and the NOCO Boost Pro is like three hundred dollars. It's like you said it was for a diesel. Um, if I have that, since that jumped my battery enough, it charged my battery enough to either. I don't know if I was just running off my battery or, um, you know, it gave it enough juice to make the alternator, you know, enough to start it and enough for the alternator to work to have it at least. I mean, it was running for, I ran it for like 45 minutes and then I was able to start it the next day. And then what happened was I ended up leaving my light on for like an hour after I shut it off, after I charged it. But that shouldn't be enough after I ran it for like two hours. Um, just leaving the light on for like an hour with a fresh battery shouldn't be enough to kill it. So there's something wrong with the, ele something wrong with the electrical connection or the alternator because I have a fresh battery. Um, but if I have one of those NOCO Boost Pros, should be enough for me to at least jump it when it's dead and then move it around from spot to spot um, while I get a job and start working to save extra money or keep doing, if I keep getting Mystery Shopper stuff that keeps making me money because the Mystery Shopper thing should pay me around, you know, between four and five hundred dollars um, profit from what, you know, is going to come out of the check from what I have to buy. But, um, you know, if I can keep doing those plus get a job or get a job, um, if I have a NOCO Boost Pro jumper pack, I should be able to jump it every time it dies and move it at least. Um, so I don't have to get a, a new or a used alternator. But if it comes down to it, you know, I don't even know if it's the alternator or it's a connection issue or what it is um, but i know that you know i ran it um, for like 45 minutes after it got jumped and then the next day i was able to start it and then i ran it for like another half an hour just to get some heat and i left the light on for like no more than an hour and a half and if i ran the you know the car for that long and charged the battery up there's something else wrong if I have a fresh battery. Um, but I can't jump up my jumper pack, so I don't feel so bad about paying 80 bucks to get it jumped from that uh, NOCO Boost Pro jumper pack. But I'm gonna get one of those NOCO Boost Pro jumper packs because it's the best jumper pack I've seen. It's the most expensive, uh, but it's the most reliable. And if it worked a couple days ago, I don't see why I won't, would, why it shouldn't work why it shouldn't work again so my plan is to get one of those noco boost pros and use the mystery shopper money that i'm gonna make to get one of those um hopefully get it i'm gonna order it before i go um you know buy the mystery shopper stuff so i can pick it up all in one trip but uh i'm gonna keep my van where it is now and then maybe tomorrow i might push it to a new spot in the slot because I did notice that security kind of noticed I was here, uh, but they didn't say anything to me or anything, so.
just got a bunch of stuff from Dollar General that doesn't require heating because down the little bit left of the propane canister that I have. So we got some tuna fish. We got some cotto salami. Cheese. I got bread to go along with the cheese and the salami and the peanut butter that I have so I can make sandwiches all week. Chips for the hot sauce. Get some candy. And some soda. I just took the check I got in the mail to one of those check cashing places, uh, it was Ace, and they had to verify it, and I guess that it's a common scam, those kind of checks. I took the check, I said, okay, I guess, you know, don't waste my time with that. I've wasted half of Friday, and then, like, I don't know, not an hour, maybe like 45 minutes walking over to there the east place and then walk it back to my van and they say on it like go to you go to your bank I'm happy i don't have a bank down here because that's probably where they get you with the scam somehow they link it to your bank and then they probably can uh, scam you even worse than just taking your time away so yeah i wish people would just work like real jobs instead of being fucking professional scumbags but it's the world we live in what I am gonna do, if there's any hackers out there that wanna have some fun, some good hackers, I'm gonna read off the phone numbers that they gave me to contact. You can spam them, you can fucking send them viruses, whatever you wanna do. So, to the numbers on this, I guess it's a fake form, uh, 442 600 7442. You wanna scam that number. Um, and then the other number on here, 442. 354 2188 police department you want to get involved uh just check on these numbers um i don't know spam them scam them do whatever you want with them those are the numbers that you know that came on the form that sent me the fraudulent check so that's the power of social media marketing fuck faces the minimum to get paid for youtube google ads is a hundred bucks and I'm right at the $100 mark for the last two months. Last time I got paid, from the last time I got paid. So I've never had to play video games to make sure I get paid. But that's what I gotta do today is play some extra games, uh, do some extra SEO, little, you know, extra social media marketing, make sure I get paid. Cause if I don't hit the $100 mark, I have to wait till next month to get paid. So kind of need that hundred dollars for my phone bill 
or else I got to sell something or I got to make sure if I get a job, I get paid in the next like two weeks. Uh, but if I hit the hundred dollar mark, today is the last day of the month, I'll get paid. It's more than my phone bill, I'm literally using video games to make sure I have a, a phone for next month. It's pretty interesting stuff. Pretty interesting stuff.